what together we'll find with every pair of shoes that we try. We'll have a new adventure, you and I. Where will my feet take me today? Nobody knows for sure. wants to learn tricks, too. Come on, Pickle, sit. You can do it. Come on, Pickle, sit, sit. Good boy, sit. <laughs> Franny, I'm not so sure Pickle wants to sit. After all, he is a goldfish. You're right, Grandpa, but fish can roll, right? Roll over, Pickle. Come on, roll over. You can do it. <laughs> A new customer! Funny, I see the shoes, but where's the customer? Hello? Hello, sorry about that. I'm in a terrible rush and forgot to mention my running shoes are all worn out and need new soles. Thank you very much indeed. I'll have them ready in a jiffy. In the fix-it box they go, on the double. Where will my feet take me today? Racing. Can I join? Actually, you're gonna have to wait. First, you're not in the race. Uh, not a big deal. Second, oh, we're still waiting for someone else. The waiting for someone who's very slow getting here. Oh, I see. Don't worry. I'll run over there and see what I can do. Hi, I'm Franny. Who are you? I'm Susan. Susan the Sloth. Susan the Sloth. How lovely. Are you coming to the race? Because Mr. Rabbit seems pretty excited to start. Well, tell Ralph he'll have to wait. Sloths are very slow. I have to take my time to get there or I won't have any turbo boost for the race. Uh-huh. Hi, guys. I'm afraid we'll have to wait. Susan's saving her energy. She told me that she was just... Uh, wait a second. Uh, who are you, anyway? And why are you speaking for Susan? Why, I'm Franny, and I was just... Pleased to meet you. A name's Ralph. This is Tad. <sighs> now, Franny. Susan's got a very strong personality. I'm not sure she'd like people going around saying stuff for her all the time. Oh, uh, unless you're her coach. Oh, if you were her coach, you could speak for her for sure. Isn't that right, Tad? <laughs> so? So what? Are you her coach or what? Um, yes. Yes, I am. Then go tell her to hurry up, uh, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Hey, Susan, how would you feel if I was your racing coach? Everyone could do with a coach. Great. My first job as your coach is to make sure you get to the race on time. Come on, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. 
Asleep? You fell asleep? Well, go now, now! So, have you been a coach for long? You seem very good. What? Well, thank you, but you really should be racing instead of chatting. I am racing. Oh! <laughs> ah! You are racing? You're not even moving! Well, no, you're right, I'm not. I'm a sloth, Franny, and sloths are very, very slow. But then, if slow is your thing, then why race? I don't get it. Easy. I want people to like me. People really like Ralph, and he's fast and friendly and likes to race. And people like Tad, and he's slow and determined and likes to race. <gasps> One. See what I mean? I reckon if I raced like the others, everyone would like me too. But Susan, I like you just the way you are right now. And I am racing right now. So, you see, my plan is working. Everybody likes me now. <gasps> na, na, na. Everyone loved you before, too, Susan. You're the best at relaxing. You see, Susan, you're the best at relaxing, and everyone loves you for that. It's true. People do like relaxing with me. Two? Yeah, I know what you mean. People like relaxing with me, too. And four more, and three more, and two more. <laughs> hmm, say, Susan, if you were a relaxing coach, what would you recommend right now? Easy. First, I'd suggest Leaning back, like this. Oh. Ah. Like that? Oh, yeah! place this time. Oh, well, that always happens. Well, it would be nice to relax all day with you guys, but I've got to get back to Grandpa's shoe shop. So soon? Oh, what a shame. Thanks, Franny, for showing me that people like me for who I am, not for who I'm not. See ya, Franny. Goodbye, Franny. Bye, everyone. That was fantastic. <laughs> wow, what's that? A racing flag. Another treasure for my shoebox. Hi, Pickle.
Turtle. You sure are good at treading water. <laughs> Still trying to teach an old fish new tricks, Franny? Oh, no, Grandpa. Pickle doesn't really like doing tricks. He prefers sitting still and treading water. He's like Susan the Sloth. She thought that she'd be good at racing, like Ralph Rabbit and Tad Tortoise, but really, she was good at relaxing. Everybody's good at something. <laughs> exactly, Grandpa. What do you think I'm good at? It seems to have stopped raining. What do you say we go puddle jumping? I'll <laughs> bet you're good at that. Yeah! Where will my feet take me tomorrow? <laughs> Grandpa, my dolls don't have any place to live until you finish building their house. Patience, Franny. Your dolls will have a roof over their heads in no time flat. Maybe it would go faster if I helped. <gasps> Oops. Sorry, Grandpa. Now we've really got to hurry. Okay, Franny. Let's stop and take a deep breath. If you hurry too much, you can end up taking even longer. Let's take time to do it right. Okie dokie, Grandpa. We'll take our time as fast as we can. A customer. And what can we do for you? I've been out chopping wood for my winter wood pile. Now my boots are the worst for wear. <laughs> There's definitely been some wear and tear, but I'll have them better than new in no time. Franny, can you put these into the fix-it box? Sure, Grandpa. <laughs> Where will my feet take me today? What a beautiful forest. So quiet and peaceful and... Need more wood. Need more wood. I've got to get more wood for the dam. I've heard of busy beavers, but that little guy didn't even notice me. Woody's been working on his dam all day. Huh? Woody? That's the beaver's name. I'm Alice. Hi, Alice. Pleased to meet you. My name's Franny. Um, so Woody's building a dam? Yes, to make a nice quiet pond where my ducklings can swim. But he's never made one all by himself before, and I don't know if he can do it. Then maybe he just needs a little help. Timber! Oh no, too big. Better start another one. Um, excuse me, Woody? Yay! Oops. Don't do that. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you, Woody. I'm Franny. Apology accepted. Now, no time for chit-chat. Gotta get back to work. But that's what I came to talk to you about. I want to help. I was talking to Alice. Alice? How's the dam coming, Woody? Yay! Uh, fine, Alice, fine. Everything's under control. That's wonderful, Woody. We can't wait to swim in your pond. Don't you worry, Alice. You'll all be swimming in a nice big pond before you know it. Yes, siree. Oh, no. What'll I do? So much work. I've got to hurry. Got to hurry. But, Woody, why do you have to hurry? Why? Didn't you hear? I gotta get the dam built fast. Everybody's counting on me. And this is my first dam. And it's not going so well. And every time I get the branches piled up, the stream washes them away. And then I work harder. And the harder I work, the, 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 the behinder I get. Woody, Woody, calm down. Try this. Take a deep breath. <sighs> there, how's that? Feel better? Oh, a little. But it doesn't help get my dam built. Okay, 
Let's stop and think about what you're doing. We'll make a plan. But planning takes time. That's true. But if you hurry too much, you end up taking even longer. You don't want that to happen, do you? N n no. Then let's take our time and do it right. And it'll turn out great. You'll see. Uh, okay. I don't understand. I'm using birch trees. That's the right kind of tree for a beaver dam. Hmm. It looks like some of the bigger branches are still here. I started using big heavy logs, but they took too long to cut down. I can carry little branches to the stream a lot quicker. Hmm. But the little branches just float away. I think you need to start with lots of big branches first and hook them all together. Then fill the gaps with little branches. But Franny, that will take forever. No, it won't. I'll help you. And when you're done, you'll have a nice, strong dam. Well, it sounds like a good idea. It's working, Franny. The big branches are holding together and catching all the little ones. Good work, Woody. Now you just need a little mud to patch up the holes. Yep. You have to take your time to do things right. That's what I always say. Almost finished, Woody. Yay! Alice! Almost finished, almost finished. Just look how strong it is. Oh! oh the dam broke! The dam broke again! Shouldn't have jumped on it before it was done. <laughs> Need some more wood right away. Back in a jiffy with more wood. No problem. Dam will be done in no time. Poor Woody, he's so clumsy. He isn't always clumsy, Alice. He was doing a great job. But I think when you ask Woody if he's finished yet, he hurries too much and then he makes mistakes and then he gets all flustered and... Out of the way, please. Coming through. I see what you mean, Franny. Okay, everybody stop and take a deep breath. <sighs> Now that we're all calmed down, Alice has something she wants to tell you, Woody. Alice? Like Franny says, I don't want you to hurry. You don't? No, don't rush. You were doing really well when you were being careful. Hey, I was, wasn't I? You got off to a great start. And I'll leave you alone until you're finished. I know you'll build a first-rate dam. You bet I will. We're going to have the best pond ever, Alice. Uh, just you wait and see. Better step away, Franny. The water's starting to back up. Yay! <laughs> you did it, Woody. You did it. The dam is holding the water back. You made a pond. Did you say Woody made a pond? He did! And it's a wonderful pond! Oh, Woody, it's perfect! You did a great job, and I'm so proud of you! Wow, Woody, you really learned to stay calm and not get flustered. Yep, thanks to you, Franny. Now that the pond is done, I'm going to build a beaver lodge for myself to live in. Goodbye, Alice. Goodbye, ducklings. Goodbye, Franny. Goodbye, Franny. Goodbye, Woody. Enjoy your pond. That was Timberific. <laughs> <gasps> it's birch bark. <laughs> you never know when you'll need to patch up a beaver dam. <laughs> Another treasure for my shoebox. Grandpa 
Grandpa! Almost done, Franny. I know you're in a rush for your dollhouse. But Grandpa, that's what I wanted to tell you. Not to rush. You don't want me to hurry? No, Grandpa. I shouldn't have been so impatient before. I'm sorry. That's okay, Franny. But it's nice of you to say so. And I know you'll make a great dollhouse because you're careful and take your time. That's what Woody learned to do. Woody? Who's Woody? Woody is a really eager beaver who kept on having to start over on his dam. When Alice told him to slow down, he finished his dam and made the best pond ever. That's wonderful, Franny. Now how about helping me finish your dollhouse? Sure, Grandpa. You hold that side of the roof while I carefully nail it on. Where will my feet take me tomorrow? Thank you.